Hi everybody, it's Amy from Bargain Beauty and I'm here to show you my Dollar Tree items. Some stuff I was looking for, super excited about, and I'm going to kind of incorporate some other things into the video. We're going to mix it up a little bit in this video. We are going to actually make dinner. Let me show you right here. So another item I got from Dollar Tree was these Au Gratin Homestyle Casserole Potato Mix. They had a larger container. This is five and a half, but it's just me for dinner. And the other ones are really synthetic cheesy. These aren't really that bad, but I don't want to put them in the oven. I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling like waiting for it in minutes. So, and as you can see, I cook on very high heat. So I had some leftover ham. So I just threw it on the stove top. It's gonna be super quick and easy. It'll be warm. It's just me eating plenty, nice and hearty for a cold day and very, very quick. So that's my dinner for tonight, guys. Nothing super exciting, but hey, it cost me like a buck fifty. So winning. All right, guys, so I got some white chocolate coated cookies with coconut and cream filling. Say that a few times fast. Not so much. So I cut one open for you guys so you guys could see what it looks like. I did try them. I do like them. Um, I am a sweets person, but I could only eat two of these. That seemed to be like the sweet factor limit. I think because of the white chocolate. But this is what it looks like on the inside. They're very, very messy. Just a heads up. I thought they were going to be like super puffy and light and like... They're very dense. They're a very dense cookie, but they are good. So you get 12, they come six in a package. You get two of these packages. So yeah, I thought I'd tell you up close, tell you they're like probably an eight out of 10. Yeah, I'd give them an eight out of 10. I wish they looked a little more like that box, but you know, that's normal. Things usually don't look like the box, but it's good. They're definitely good. Would I buy them again? Yeah, I would buy them again. You only get 12, but it's like if you went to a bakery and got some really nice, you know, pastry items. So, same thing. All right, guys, so I grabbed a box of the Snickerdoodles. It's six ounces. And if you like a soft Snickerdoodle, these are not for you. These ones are crispy cookies sprinkled with cinnamon sugar. I actually prefer the harder, um, crispier ones because I like to dunk them in tea or have them with hot chocolate. But yeah, they have six ounce Snickerdoodles at the Dollar Tree. All right, I don't think you can even tell I cooked this on top of the stove. It's cooling down a little bit now, but when it was super hot, it looked even yummier, but I was filming, and I'm going to have to maybe reheat it. I don't know. But this is what dinner looks like, guys, for about a dollar fifty. So this little cutie I found up near the registers. It's a little LED-lighted Christmas tree. It is fiber optic. It goes pretty fast. I wish it would slow down just a little bit. But it is super cute, and it did already come with the battery, so it's already set to go. You just pull out the tab, and you're good to go. So, the next items I have been looking for, oh my gosh, guys, I never thought we were going to get these. These little tiny garbages, I think they are so cute. I got one for my car, and one for my daughter's car. They fit right in your cup holder. I'm going to show you footage of in the store of the colors that my store had to offer. These were the two that I really liked the most. So yes, I'm going to show you right now all the colors the store had available. Next, because it's just that time of the year, I did grab one of the window installation kit. Um, I have brand new windows in my house, so super lucky this year. It should be a lot better on the heating bill. But I have one window, it seems like it still gets kind of a draft from around the window sill, more so than the window. So I think there might be a gap in there somewhere. So I am going to take this and just, it's in the kitchen. So I'm gonna just take this and put it in there and just get that you know, chill out of the air that goes on in my kitchen. So guys, here are 
match the measurements. It pretty much fits any type of window. So I think this is a really good deal. It's by Weather Buster. And obviously if you've used these before, you know how they work. But if you've never seen them, um, you just put the tape along the windowsill and then you take a hair dryer and you shrink it so that all of the air stays on the outside, doesn't come in the inside. It seals out drafts and humidity. So uh, you actually get two window. This is a great deal, two for a buck. I mean, Home Depot, even Walmart, these are really expensive. So if you need the window insulation kits, I would get them ASAP. I was shocked there was um, any left at all because it's been pretty chilly here in Connecticut. I did grab two of the pedigree. I do make my dog's food probably 80 to 90% of the time now. Um, I don't know. It's just healthier and you know, you just do a little extra for your animals. My daughter's off to college, so <laughs> I think I'm pampering them a little bit more, but on the days I'm not feeling so hot, um, I grabbed just a couple of these to have for backup. They're the Pedigree, they're two for a dollar at my store, so not a bad deal, uh, 50 cents for 5.3 ounces. That's actually not a bad deal at all, so I just grabbed two of those. Now, I'm going to show you in the store, they had some new e.l.f. brushes, and then I'll come back and I'll show you guys the ones that I got. Okay, so the ones I ended up picking up was the small tapered brush, as you can see right here. I think this would be a great highlighter brush. You know, just, it's a softer brush for sure. So I thought this would be nice to just kind of put on my highlighter. And then the ultimate blending brush, I got one of those. It doesn't look like a bad, it looks pretty good. Like for a buck, I'm thinking not bad. And then I did get the three-in-one mascara. I do have a ton of mascara, but I thought this was super interesting. Let me show you guys up close. I thought this was a really, really good deal for a buck, and I got it in very black. And then I did grab one of these Wet n Wild brushes that we've all seen before, but I grabbed it because I love this. I'm giving myself a home pedicure, and I love this angled brush, the angled liner brush, guys, for taking the nail polish off my like toes or hands if I use nail polish because I don't get a ton on my toes or my nails, but it's nice to have this little angle. It gets like just saturated enough to take the nail polish off without ruining your nails. So I absolutely love this angled brush for that purpose. And then I did grab a little stocking stuffer for my daughter. She loves sparkling cider, so I grabbed one of those. I absolutely love this cleaner, uh, the Totally awesome oxygen-based cleaner. I absolutely love this. I use it in the laundry the most. Um, I don't really use it too many other places. Or if I'm cleaning like the couch, I'll put it in my shampooer. But yeah, I love, love, love this so much. I grabbed one more of the Final Touch uh, fabric softener because that's all they had in my store. I didn't even really need it. I just know they're not going to probably get this one back in. And I love it, so I grabbed it. And I am a huge fan, let me move these out of the way, a huge fan of this Comet Classic Home Cleaner. And I use it to clean out the sink after I do dishes or my counters, they're white tiles. So I use this like everywhere, in the bathroom, everywhere. And other stores, it's really expensive. Home Depot, it's like $3.99 or $4.99 when I got it like three or four years ago. That was the only other place in my area I could find it. So I'm super psyched to always be able to get that. I just got some soda, you guys know soda. Um, just a little 
a little bit of Coca-Cola, and then I grabbed the Spick and Span Sparkling Forest and Sunshine Breeze. So yeah, guys, that is my haul. It's small but mighty, and I'm going to put some pictures in now of some new books in my store and some other things I found that maybe you thought would be interesting. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. It helps my channel so, so much. When you thumbs up the video, it helps put it out in circulation, which is so, super helpful for me. So thank you guys if you do thumbs up. Have a great day. Bye-bye.